All right, hello, boys and girls, moms and dads. Well, welcome to Heroes Bottom School Academy. This is fifth grade English, um, week number four and day number two. All right, so today's lesson is going to be about grammar, and grammar, and specifically, we we are going to be talking about uh, perfect continuous verb tenses. So we've been talking about verb tenses for a few weeks right now. We are going to try to further that conversation with this one over here. So take a look at the chart that I'm showing right over here. So don't be distracted by the left part of the page. Just let's try to stay focused on this part of the page over here. So you're going to see the verb tense over here, which is perfect continuous. But perfect continuous can occur as a past tense, present tense, and a future tense. So when do we use a past perfect continuous? Well, we're going to use a past perfect continuous when talking about a continuous past action which occurred before another past action. Well, examples of that are going to be in the first person singular, first person plural, second person singular, second person plural, third person singular, and third person plural forms of uh, past perfect continuous. So let's look at the first example over here. Remember, talking about a continuous action that happened in the past, which occurred before or maybe potentially after another past action. So let me put uh, before or after because it's just uh, the relationship between this thing that really matters actually. Okay, so before or after. All right, so I had been going to church much longer than my neighbor. All right, can you see that over there? I have been going. So it's going. It's going in the past. Miss, I've been doing this in the past before my neighbor started going to church. Or maybe after my neighbor started going to church. You know, you can use it for before the past action or after another past action. Well, in the first person plural of it, it's going to be really easy to understand. We have been going to church much longer than my neighbor. And the second person singular aspect of it, you have been going to church much longer than my neighbor. Second person plural, both or all of you have been going to church much longer than my neighbor. All right, third person singular, he had been going to church much longer than my neighbor. And third person plural, they have been going to church much longer than my neighbor. Now in the present form of it, we use a perfect continuous when talking about a continuous action uh, a continuous past action which is related to the present so you gotta make sure you understand that so it is a continuous past action which is related to the present alright so what's an example of that I have been going to church all through this week so did you see that all through this week is gonna be like in the present tense and that's the reason we didn't use the word had over here but much longer than my neighbor is talking about what my neighbor did in the past as well. That's the reason we use the word add over here. So very careful. Be very careful about that. It has to be related to a present tense action. All right. Look at the plural tense of it. We have been going to church all through this week. All right. Second person singular. You have, you have been going to church all through this week. All right. This is a second person plural. Both of you or all of you have okay have been going to church all through this week. All right, third person singular. He or she has. So let's put it he or she has. Okay, so it's gonna be has been going to church all through this week. And third person plural, they have been going to church all through this week. All right. Future or perfect continuous. Well, that's going to be used when talking about a continuous past action, which is going to be related to the future. An example is going to be tomorrow marks the 10th year. I will have been going to church. All right. So tomorrow is going to be a future action. But I will have been going to church is talking about like it's in the past already. So projecting yourself to be like, well, I'm tomorrow already. I'm there tomorrow. Then I'm talking about what I've done tomorrow. All right. Uh, first person plural tomorrow marks the 10th year that we will have been going to church second person singular tomorrow marks the 10th year that you will have been going to church 
second person plural tomorrow marks the 10th year that both of you or all of you will have been going to church third person singular tomorrow marks the 10th year that he or she will have been going to church all right third person plural tomorrow marks the 10th year that they will have been going to church all right so did you see how that flows together so please go ahead and try to do this exercise write out sentences of your own based on the past perfect continuous present perfect continuous and future perfect continuous and share with your daddy share with your mommy and tell them that you learned something from grade 5 english of Hero Spawn School Academy today. All right, did you get something from it? I sure hope so. Uh, well, that's what I got for you today, boys and girls. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with Hero Spawn.